In world news, airstrikes in Syria began before dawn and show no signs of easing up after the Syrian army announced the launch of a new military operation to take back the rebel-held city of Aleppo. With the strikes came the dramatic rescue of one of the war's young victims. Rescuers used their bare hands and a shovel to dig five-year-old Rowan Alouche from the rubble. She was buried alive after airstrikes hit the Aleppo neighborhood she lived in. Her parents, three sisters, and her brother did not survive the attack. Rowan's condition after the rescue is unknown. This civil defense worker says at least two dozen airstrikes struck the area in a matter of hours, and other civilians are still trapped. It's more evidence a week long ceasefire is over. After diplomatic talks to salvage the deal disintegrated. Residents and activists say this latest round of bombings is unprecedented. Dozens of people have reportedly been killed. There's widespread destruction, and rescue workers say the death toll will likely grow. A Syrian military official says airstrikes and shelling in Aleppo could go on longer and may include a ground offensive in the coming days. U.S. and Russian diplomats ended their talks at the United Nations today, unable to reach a new ceasefire agreement for Syria.